Hello, good morning once again, my dear student. Good morning. How are you today? I hope you're doing good. Now today we're going to continue our lesson on arithmetic mean. So if you still remember about arithmetic mean, these are the terms in between. Okay, so like for example, if uh, we're going to find the arithmetic mean uh, between the two terms, so meaning to say that there are only three terms. We have the first term, the arithmetic mean, which is the second term, and we have the last term or the third term. If we're going to find again the three arithmetic means, meaning to say that there are five terms in that sequence. So the givens are the first term and the fifth term. So we need to find the three arithmetic means, which are the second, the third, and the fourth term. Okay, just like this. So we have here the arithmetic mean of A and B. So we're going to find the arithmetic mean X. Or if we're going to find the three arithmetic means, X, Y, and Z. That is the arithmetic means of A and B. Okay, so for this one, there are five uh, terms. And for this one, there are three terms. Okay, so we have here more examples of about the arithmetic mean. We have here our first example. It says if k power 2 minus 1 is the arithmetic mean of 2k plus 3 and 2k minus 5, find the values of k. Okay, now remember for this one we need to find the unknown k. So still, remember, still the same that the terms will be arranged accordingly like we have here the first term is the first term and this is the last term and this one is the arithmetic mean or the second term so we can write that as like this this one so we have here the first term the second term or the arithmetic mean and the third term but the question here is we're going to find the value of k so again in order to find uh, the value of k there would be, uh, they were going to equate the two equation. Like the second term minus the first term is equal to the third term minus the second term. Okay, so it must be in that uh, way that you're going to equal, uh, get the equality of two expression. So two minus one and three minus two. Okay, like this. So we have here uh, two minus one. The second term minus the first term, and the third term minus the uh, second term. Now we're going to simplify this. So do not ch uh, change that. Like sometimes some student they will have first minus second and uh, third minus second. No. So if you do uh, first minus second, then second minus third, or if you will have second minus uh, first, then third minus first. Okay. So we continue, we have, uh, we get, uh, we take out the bracket, so it will be like this. Okay, so we continue. So we take out the parentheses. We have here. So you will see that for this one, it doesn't change. But for this one, negative times positive is negative. Negative times positive is negative uh, 3. Then for this one, it, it will not change 2k minus 5. For this one, negative, one, negative times positive is negative k power 2. And negative times negative is positive 1. Okay? Now we're going to combine like terms. We can put all together in one side. Or it's up to you how you can arrange uh, the terms. Okay? So for me, I will arrange them like in one side only. I will put everything on the left side. So first is I will move... This one, negative k power 2 here, okay? So everything will be here, and we're going to arrange that accordingly. Like for the degree, like uh, for power 2, then no power, then constant, okay? Just like this. So you will see that from this one, k power 2 is this, and negative k power 2 is positive k power 2, and this one is negative 2k we have here, and we uh, move from positive 2k to the left becomes negative 2k and um, what else so this one we combine negative 1 and negative 3 is negative 4 this one okay and we have 
negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. So we have here negative, plus we transpose the other side, it becomes positive 4. Okay? But here in the, on the right side, it's still negative, but we transpose the other side, it becomes positive 4. Now we're going to combine the like terms. So first we have here k squared plus k2 is 2k power 2. And then this one is minus 4k, and this one will be 0. We have here, so this will be uh, 2k power 2. This one is uh, minus 2 minus 2k, 2k minus 2k minus 2k is minus 4k, and minus 4 plus 4 is 0. So we do not write any more here, that is equal to 0. Okay, so from here, we're going to factor out. Okay, factor out. For this one, we have 2k, and for this one, we have 2k also. So we can factor out 2k, just like this, 2k out, so 2k times k is 2k power 2, and 2k times minus 2 is 4k, okay? Now, uh, to find the value of k, we have, we split the two expression as 2k is equal to 0, and k minus 2 is equal to 0. So therefore, the value of uh, k's we have for this will be zeros, and for this one is 2 positive 2. So therefore the value of k here for the, the arithmetic mean having the k unknown are 0 and 2. Okay? Question for number 1. No. Now we go, we proceed to number 2 here. So it says the arithmetic mean of 5 plus 3x and x power 2 plus 7 is 6x minus 4. Find the values of x. So this is the arithmetic mean, this one. This is the second term, the first, the third, and the second. So we can write that as like this, the first, the second, and the third. Okay? So the same thing that you're going to do, if you want to subtract like uh, first and second, you can also equal to second to the third. Okay? Do not switch the, the trending of the subtraction. If you like, second to the first, then third to the second. Okay? It's up to you. Which one is comfortable with you to subtract? First to second, then equal to second to third. Or second to uh, second to first, then equal to third to second. Or up to you, vice versa. So for this one, I choose uh, third to second, then second to first. Okay? So this is third minus second, second minus first. Okay? Now we take out the bracket. So for this one, it will not change, but for this, we have negative and positive is negative 6x, negative and negative is positive 4. For this one, doesn't change, so the same 6x minus 4, negative times positive 5 is negative 5, and negative times positive 3x is negative 3x. Okay, now we combine again, all together, in one side. So we have here x power 2, and we have here minus 6x. And this one, I transpose this to the other side, becomes 6x. From positive, it becomes 6x. And we have here one more. This is negative 3x. I transpose again to the other side, it becomes positive 3x, this one. And we have here positive 7. Again, we go to the constant. So you will see that our arrangement is from the highest degree. Then next, then only constant number, only number. Okay, so that's how you can arrange the, the terms. So we have here the positive 7, then positive 4, then this one negative 4 is positive 4 now because we transpose to the left side, it becomes positive 4. Now negative 5, again transpose to the left side, it becomes positive 5, then equal to 0. Now we're going to uh, combine the like terms. So we have there x power 2 is here. Then for this one, we have uh, negative 6x uh, minus 6x is negative 12x plus 3x is negative 9x, okay? For this one, we have uh, 11, we have 15, we have 20, okay, this one 20, and equal to 0, okay? So from here, we can factor out, factor out this, two one lips, so we have here, we factor out, we have, uh, for, to find uh, the first term, we have x times x is x power 2, right? For 20, we can have negative 5 times negative 4 is positive 20. Now, the middle term, to find the middle term is, we're going to add this, negative 5x, okay? 
negative 5x plus negative 4x. So we're going to multiply negative 4 and x. That is negative 4x. For negative 5 and x, negative, negative 5x. Then you add negative 5x plus negative 4x is equal to negative 9x. So meaning to say that our expansion or de facto out is correct. So therefore we have for the x value, we have there x minus 5 equal to 0 and x minus 4 equal to 0. Therefore x are 5 and 4. Okay, so we transpose that to the other side becomes positive. This to the other side becomes positive and we have here the value of x. Okay, so that's uh, the value for uh, the value of x for example number 2. Now we go to example number 3. This one. If 2x minus 3 is the arithmetic mean of x power 2 minus 4 and 5x minus 8, find the values of x. Okay, so this is the second term or the arithmetic mean, the first term and the third term. Now we have here the arrangement, the first term, the second term or the arithmetic mean, and the third term. So again, as I've said before, that when you do the subtraction, you can have uh, uh, 1 minus 2, first term minus the second term, is equal to second term minus the third term, or second term minus the first term is equal to third term minus second term, or uh, third term minus second term is equal to second term minus first term. So it's up to you, as long as you are not uh, uh, changing the, the, the movement of subtraction. So we have here, so I choose third minus second, then second minus first, okay? So we we'll take out the parenthesis. You have here 5x minus 8. Negative times 2x is negative 2x. Negative and negative 3 is positive 3. For this one, doesn't change. And this one is negative x power 2 is negative x power 2. Negative times negative 4 is positive 4, okay? Now we combine all the like terms. I put all together in one side. So I start with the highest degree, is the highest degree, negative x power 2 having the second power. So it will become positive here. We transpose to the right left side. Okay, we have here. Then next is the next degree is this one, power 1. So we have here uh, 5x, okay, negative 2x, this one. And we have here positive 2x, and we transpose to the other side, it becomes negative 2x. Okay, and followed by the constant. Negative 8, this one negative 8, and this one positive 3, we have here. This one is negative 3, right? Transpose to the left side becomes positive 3, okay? And we have here positive 4, transpose to the left side, it becomes negative 4, equal to 0, okay? Now we combine all the like terms. We have here, for x power 2, this one. For x, we have 5x minus 2x is uh, uh, 3x. 3x minus 2x is x. Okay, so we have here x positive x. Now for 6, negative 6, we have, we have here how much this? 6, right? Negative 8 plus 6 is negative 2. Now minus 4, that is minus 6. Okay, equal to 0. Now from here again, we will factor out. We will factor out this equation to this one. So to find the first term, x times x is x power 2. Then negative 2 times positive 3 is negative 6. Negative 2x and positive 3x is 1, 3x, 3 times x. So negative 2x plus 3x is x. Okay, so our uh, equation is correct, this one is correct. Therefore, the value of x, we have x minus 2 equals 0 and x plus 3 equals to 0. Therefore, x are... 2 and negative 3. Question. Do you have any question? No, thank you very much. And we have here uh, our activity. 